Well, once again, I got a feature on an event, an organization that is near and dear to my heart. This particular event I've been going to for over the past 25 years. My ultimate goal in life when I was 11 years old at this event was someday to be a TV host and cover this event for that show. Well, my dream has come true. Actually, this is the fourth time it's come true. On Saturday, August 2nd, 2008, the Illinois St. Andrew Society Scottish Home in North Riverside, Illinois, was putting on, once again, its Scottish Home Picnic. I often refer to this picnic as a lost gem, as it is such a wonderful event with little to no media coverage. Hey, it's been my privilege and honor to let the public know about this wonderful picnic the past few years. The Illinois St. Andrews Society's Scottish Home Picnic is a wonderful celebration of Scottish culture and Scottish pride. Even those of us who have only 25% Scottish blood throwing through our veins can still have a meat pie or sausage roll or two and do the Highland Fling. Maybe. The day consisted of a jumble sale which features a collection of antique collectibles, books, clothing, the verks. There is plenty of delicioso Scottish grub, no haggis, sorry, but consisted of meat pies, brideys, and sausage rolls. And of course there is some good old American fare such as hamburgers, etc. There is also pony rides for the kiddies as well as other various fun activities for the kids. There was also a pie eating contest. I am very proud to say that my very own dear old dad, Joe Kara, won this year's pie eating contest. I guess you can say he devoured the competition. There was also several raffles. There was also a bake sale, craft sale, and of course Rudy Kazuti and Bubbles were mixing up with the crowd as well as providing face painting to the kiddies. There was a good time, feel good rock band, Savannah band, as the entertainment, as well as authentic Scottish dancing from the Sissel and Heather Scottish dancers, and of course the bagpipe serenade, can't forget it baby, by the Caledonian Scottish band. As usual, there was miniature golf, a long standing tradition for the Scottish home picnic, and of course, a bouncy thingy for the kids. There was also traditional games for kids and kids of all ages. The Illinois St. Andrews Society Scottish Home is a full-service elderly care facility with three different levels of care, just an apartment, assisted living, and a full-service nursing care facility. The Scottish Home provides a warm and caring environment for mature adults allowing Scottish residents as well as non-Scottish residents to celebrate that Scottish culture. The Illinois St. Andrews Society is the oldest non-profit organization in Illinois. Formed way back in 1845, the Society celebrates its 163rd birthday. The Illinois St. Andrews Society embraces and celebrates Scottish culture. The Illinois St. Andrews Society puts on several events throughout the year, including the Highland Games in June. The Illinois St. Andrews Society has many subgroups, including a law society, as well as a genealogy group. For much more information on the Illinois St. Andrews Society and all it does, please visit their website at www.chicago-scots.org. Well, today we're at the Illinois St. Andrews Society's Scottish Home Picnic. A lot of great events going on. And with me today is the President and Executive Director of the Illinois St. Andrews Society, Mr. Gus Noble. And a lot of things going on. And despite the fact that you're selling Guinness here, we'll, we'll overlook that. But hey, the Irish are our friends. But we've got a lot of stuff going on. So tell us what's happening at this picnic. Well, first of all, thanks for coming out again, Mike. It's always great to see you here, and thanks for all your support through the years. The Illinois St. Andrews Society is a Scottish cultural organization. We are the oldest charitable organization in the state of Illinois, started on the 1st of December 
1845, 163 years ago, and about 100 years ago in the year 1910, we built on five acres of land in what's now North Riverside, Illinois, this beautiful Scottish home that you see. It's a retirement community. And way back in 1910, we used to ask members of the society, friends of the society, and relatives of the people who lived at the Scottish home, the residents, to come in and help us do all the maintenance work that needed to happen at the Scottish home. So once a year, everybody would come and the men would roll up their sleeves and do the yard work and rake leaves and grass and so on. And the ladies would take care of all the, the stuff that had to happen inside, the decorating and the needlework and darning socks and everything. And to say thank you for all their support, we organised a picnic. And this is actually the 92nd annual Scottish Home Picnic. In 2008, unlike 92 years ago, we have professional paid staff to take care of some of those jobs and certainly we have some contractors who come in but we've decided that this is an important tradition that helps us connect with our uh, members and friends so we've maintained the tradition of keeping the picnic going and you'll find lots of different activities here from music which you may be able to hear in the background some traditional Scottish music with some American music some jazz and some blues the family of one of our residents has a, a jazz band and they've kindly come and played. Later on today you'll hear a pipe band. We've had some wonderful Highland dancing, the Thistle and Heather Highland dancers who practice and have lessons here at the home, performed for all the, uh, the, the guests at the Scottish home. There's traditional Scottish fare, sausage rolls, pies, and of course American fare and hamburgers and hot dogs. There is a jumble sale where people can come and buy lots of different items from Scottish books to music and some, some articles for your home, Christmas decorations and so on. There is a membership tent so you can come and find out about the society and join the society. And we're offering tours of the Scottish home so you can see everything that's there from the very personal touch and the, the quality of the care that we offer to the residents and the comfort that that brings to their families to a tour of our museum and heritage centre which is home to the world's only Scottish American Hall of Fame and has lots of different articles that have been brought over from Scotland or people have um, used to tell the stories of Scottish accomplishment and contributions to North America so it's a very Scottish American heritage centre and museum and just today actually we have unveiled two things at today's picnic. One is a new walking garden which is part of our Shetlands um, garden and, and this walking garden is for those residents to come and follow a lovely path around some beautiful flowers and they can stop and look at the colours, smell the flowers or they can choose to have a quiet moment and relax with their families in a very peaceful setting so the garden can be both stimulating and very relaxing and peaceful. And we were honoured that the Mayor of North Riverside, uh, Mayor Richard Sheck and his wife Mrs Sheck, whose uh, mother lived in the home for three years, came and unveiled and uh, dedicated the garden uh, this morning. So we were delighted and honoured to have the Mayor. And the other thing we had today was the unveiling of a new addition to our Scottish Museum, which is a unique a uh, long case, a Scottish long case clock which has inscriptions and pictures of Robert Burns and it has the words Burns following his muse behind the plough so it tells the story of the great Scottish poet Robert Burns and it's a unique clock, I've never seen one like this before and we're delighted to have it now as part of our Robert Burns collection in the Scottish American Museum. For more information on the Illinois St. Andrews Society and or the Scottish Home, please take note of your screen.